It's time for the Crash Report. Thanks for watching today. There seems to be a lot of questions about Chase Sexton and his crashing when he's leading races. Today we're going to take a look at it. Is it bike? Is it rider? Let's find out. Let's study last week's footage and see what we can find. We're looking at a sequence of riders coming over the same jump where Sexton crashed. If you notice, most of the riders are tapping the top of the jump with a back tire. As you see number 43, Levi Kitchen, come over the jump here, you'll notice he hits it almost perfectly and lands the front and the back tire at almost exactly the same time. That's the best way to do it if you want control of your bike. Now here's Sexton's crash. You're going to notice that the front end is heavily compressed when he lands. He loses control and he crashes. We're going to look at this from a couple different angles to try to discover what in the world made him crash. The first thing I want to show you here is a hidden obstacle. It's a braking bump on the back side of this jump. You're going to see it here in color. Now this means if he lands on the braking bump, he has over jumped the jump and missed the smooth landing. And watch when his front tire hits it, how hard it reacts. Then the back tire comes right down on top of it and then reacts again. The braking bump has reflected the tire off the ground. Look close. This is similar to casing a jump, which has thrown all of his body weight forward. Boom, there the tire extends and he's off to the races. <laughs> well, sort of. Okay, last angle. This is Jet Lawrence on the left, Chase on the right. Notice they're both in the air, neutral body position, right foot off the pegs. Now these guys don't put their feet back on the pegs until right as they hit the ground. But what I see here is that as Chase Sexton hits the back side of that braking bump, it throws him forward and I actually think his foot misses the foot peg. He's got blue boots, so it's kind of easy to see. His foot moves a little bit farther forward, which means he could have landed on the rear brake at the same time he hits the braking bump. Or he could have also just run over his foot. I'm sorry the footage isn't any better. This is the best I could find to edit and take a look at this. They had neutral body positioning in the air. But now you see Chase is much further forward. Arms are bent. And Jet is still very neutral. So the big question everybody's asking, is it the bike or is it the rider? Well, in the post-race interview, Chase said, I hit the jump. The same way I hit it every lap, and this is what happens. So if you gave me a gavel and this information, I would have to say it was the rider's fault because he's not able to make changes to meet the track as it develops. Webb is really good at this. Chase needs to get better at it. What do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Tell me why. Please don't forget... To like, like, subscribe, and keep, keep it, it on, on two wheels. wheels.